Hi, this is my wife Amanda, and this is our son Kai, who's just over a year now, and that's me. I'm Krister, and this is our homestead. Um, it's a cabin in South Central Alaska. You can see the main house there in the middle of your screen, as well as a number of different outbuildings. Um, we have a, a woodshed off to the side. Uh, you can't really see it, but it's there, and a sauna and a guest house, which is a recent addition. It's kind of nice to be able to have Nana come out and have a place to stay when she comes to visit Kai, and an outhouse, of course, which is necessary um, because we don't have any running water. The house is um, pretty pretty far removed. We're several miles off the road, and we don't have uh, electricity other than the solar panels, which we have, um, and yeah, no, no running water, so everything is done by hand, and uh, it's a it's a several hour walk in in the summertime, no ATV access. Uh, we have to haul everything in in the wintertime on a snow machine, um, which is still difficult to do. Uh, so you can see there's not, there's not a lot of people around here. It's a pretty different way to live, um, but it is beautiful and we totally love it. You can see the Alaska range there at the top of your screen, um, which is one of the perks of living here. The, that shot doesn't do it justice on a, on a cloudy day. It's absolutely spectacular. Um, there's a better shot from our dining room table. That's kind of what we see looking out from the house. So we've been gone for a little while, um, just kind of out on tour, uh, taking Kai to visit relatives and, and you know get out of the homestead for the winter. But we're back and we've got a haul building supplies and haul food, so we've got a ton to do. So the boys just went next door to REI. I get to have a minute to finish my coffee. I uh, refilled it so it's nice and warm. Uh, yeah, four hours of sleep is just not enough to keep me sane. Um, we have a lot of work to get done. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to pick up a friend's truck and then drive over to the hotel, pick up the rest of our gear, then go shopping. Four thirty, we're going to pick up a new snow machine, haul everything in, and uh, hopefully uh, get some groceries in the mix. Get high of nap. Okay, here we are in the truck driving north, coffee in hand. We've done a big, huge provisioning run and picked up supplies that we'll need. We'll have plenty of uh, more trips into town, but this is the first. We've got fuel for the snow machine and all kinds of non-perishables. The plan is going to be that Krista goes in tonight with his brother and breaks the trail, gets the house warm and ready for Kai and I to come in tomorrow. I'm curious to see how the place is since we've been gone so long um, and really excited just to get home. It'll, it'll be, feel really good. We've been gone for a really long time. So my brother Kai and I are heading into the cabin. Um, it's always interesting to me to come back after being gone for a few months. I always kind of halfway expect the snow load to have crushed the roof or a bear to have gotten in or who knows what. Um, but the cabin looks great. Um, it's kind of fun to see the aerial shot as I'm coming in here. So big thanks to Ka for bringing the drone. And yeah, I'm going to go get a fire lit and get the house warm. Uh, we've got a broken trail now. So um, the next few weeks are going to be really busy hauling firewood and hauling supplies um, because breakup is coming soon when everything melts. Uh, and uh, when that happens, um, we won't be able to do any hauls. It's so much easier now than it will be later. So uh, time to get busy.